Hello, uh, this is Bill Cunningham reporting on the recent Paris Fashion Week. And everywhere you look, it's marvelous. The Karl Lagerfeld show for Chanel, the settings have long been amazing and people just can't wait to see them. But this one is unforgettable. Now the Grand Palais is the size of three football stadiums. And it was one gigantic shopping mall. And the fashion show took place with the models wandering all through these aisles. Some with shopping carts. And the reason it's unforgettable is that the spontaneous, unplanned, after show, when the audience of well over 2,000 just went on a rampage in the a shopping mall grand grocery store that he turned the Grand Palais into. And all of the empty cans, jars, everything, fresh fruits, had labels on them that had a connection to Chanel. But you had to see the audience when it was over. They thought they had complete liberty to take souvenirs. And people were lugging all this stuff, and they had a big checkout counter. Well, on the way out, unbeknownst to all the people that were gathering up all the goodies, the security forces were checking the bags and confiscating all the stuff the people had loaded up on. People were just ready for a fight. There was one woman that wanted to hit the security guy over the head with the cocoa box and others with cabbages, fresh cabbages and oranges. I thought, my God, if they start throwing those at each other, it'll be priceless. You see, women in these $10,000 Chanel ensembles and all the jewelry and everything, pulling at the olives and the uh, onions and the... I mean, you, you, it was almost unbelievable. Oh, and the reason they, I figured, they confiscated the goods from the arms of the guests as they left was because all of that is sent to the hundreds of Chanel boutiques around the world for their window displays. Lagerfeld, you got to hand it to him, he is a genius. Everything you could possibly think of, the imagination and thought, this is what makes Paris different from any fashion center in the world. Uh, certainly Milan and uh, New York and uh, uh, London make beautiful clothes and lovely, but the way the French package it and present it, you might as well give up ever trying. Mm-hmm.